While the butter's in the freezer, let's mix. While the butter's in the freezer, let's mix. While the butter's in the freezer, let's mix. Oh my god. I'm Sav and this is Lockham Eats. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes, strawberry crisp. Sweet strawberries topped with that crunchy brown sugar cinnamon streusel. It's the perfect dessert for all your summer barbecues. Let's take a look at the ingredients. For the filling, we're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, one pound of chopped strawberries, one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one lemon. For the streusel, we'll need a quarter cup of oats, one third cup of sugar, half a cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and four tablespoons of butter. Let's get baking. We'll start by making our filling. So this is one pound of whole strawberries. I chopped them up. It gave me a little bit less than four cups. So we'll pour them into our bowl. Now we're gonna take our lemon and we're gonna use the zest of one whole lemon. So take a microplane, go ahead and get all that zest in there. We're also gonna put a tablespoon of the juice. So I'll squeeze about a tablespoon in there and make sure you don't get any seeds, of course. Now we'll put in half a teaspoon of our vanilla and one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And lastly, we'll put in two tablespoons of our sugar. All right, let's give it a mix. We'll set this aside while we make our streusel. For the streusel topping, we want our butter to be cold. So what I like to do is put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes before we use it. While the butter's in the freezer, let's mix together our dry ingredients. We're gonna be using a quarter cup of our oats, half a cup of flour, and we're going to spoon and level it. One third cup of granulated sugar, and one third cup of our brown sugar. Make sure you pack in the brown sugar. a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, we're just gonna stir that together. Now we gotta add in our butter. So our butter is really cold and the way I like to do this is grate the butter in. This allows the butter to incorporate into the flour mixture more easily without melting in the bowl. All right, now we'll grate it in. All right, now let's mix it in. Now, since this butter is all grated, it's super easy to get it all incorporated with the flour. Whoops. Our oven is preheating to 350 degrees. Today, I'm gonna use an eight inch cast iron skillet for this strawberry crisp. But if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can use an eight by eight baking dish or even a cake pan or a pie dish. All right, so we're going to dump our strawberry mixture into this pan. And then we'll crumble our streusel topping all over it. All right, it's ready to go in the oven. So we're going to bake it at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Our strawberry crisp is done, and the way that you know it's done is it's bubbling around the sides, the filling has thickened up, and that streusel on top is crispy. All right, so let's taste it. I'm gonna put some in a bowl. Ooh, I'm excited for this. And you can't have any fruit crisp without some vanilla ice cream. So we'll top it with that. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. 
the sweet strawberries, and then that crunchy oatmeal topping. Then the ice cream kind of makes it a bit creamy. It's seriously an amazing dessert. And the great part about this dessert is you don't have to use strawberries. You can use whatever fruit that you want. Peaches, blackberries, blueberries, apples. It'll be delicious. If you like this dessert, then you will probably like my strawberry rhubarb pie. It is like this dessert, but in pie form. So go check out that video. I hope you guys liked my strawberry crisp. The full recipe can be found on my food blog at lagomeats.com. I've got new delicious dishes coming out every week, so hit a like and subscribe below. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, do.